Okay, we're going to talk about the directional terms superficial and deep and answer the questions, what are the definitions for superficial and deep and what ways are they used in anatomy? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So first of all, the term superficial or external means towards the surface and the term deep or internal means towards the inside. How do we use these terms? Well, to show that, let's use an orange. And if we then take an incision all around and go shing and open up the orange, and we show that that's the peel and that's the pulp, we ask the question, how would you describe the location of the orange peel in relation to the pulp? Well, the peel is anterior to the pulp. Or no, it's actually posterior. No, it's actually lateral. No, actually, this part of the peel is inferior. Are they not all correct? And so when describing structures that have depth and layers, the terms superficial and deep are used. So the peel is superficial to the pulp because it does not matter where we show the peel, it is always superficial to the pulp. Now, how would you describe the location of the pulp in relation to the peel? Well, we say the pulp is deep to the peel because it doesn't matter where we're looking, the pulp is always deep to the peel. So here's a cross section through the arm on the right side. There's the skin and there's the humerus and the humerus is blank to the skin. Well, the humerus is in towards the inside of the arm. So we use the word the humerus is deep to the skin or the humerus is internal to the skin because it doesn't matter where we're looking at the skin, the humerus is always deep to it. How about this sagittal section of the skull and brain where there's the skull and there the brain? The skull is blank to the brain. Because the skull surrounds the brain, the best term is superficial. The skull is superficial or external to the brain because it does not matter where we look, the skull is always on the outside of the brain. Here's a cross section of a muscular artery. That's called the tunica media, all those rose colored cells, it's smooth muscle. And then those purple ones are, are endothelial cells that together are called the tunica intima. The term tunica means layer. So anatomists said, well, what are we going to call this outside layer? And so they use the word externa for external, towards the outside. Furthermore, they found that there are these two layers of elastic tissue. That term lamina means a layer. So they, what do we call these two layers of elastic tissue? Well, this one they call the external elastic lamina and this one the internal elastic lamina. That, my friends, are the terms superficial and deep in a nutshell.